Ron Sims grew up in Spokane, the son of civil rights leaders who taught him to challenge the status quo with confidence and respect for others. He's been King County Executive now for 11 years and uses this leadership legacy every day in his job. Oh, people don't follow someone who looks like a failure. It's that simple. Um, you know, we get both verbal cues and nonverbal cues. And if you look like a person who has doubt, um, then you convey that uh, with a far more strength than you think. So you have to look like a person who's going to lead. A person who leads has a certain confident walk, a certain carriage, a certain look, uh, a certain feel. Uh, you know, we always call it charisma, but it's more than just charisma. They they walk like winners. There's two things that you try not to do when you're a leader. You never gloat over your success, and you never ever uh, are disappointed in your defeats. Life is short, and you move on. And you accept that, realizing that when you reflect back on what's happened to you, you see everything as a building block, that your defeats are building blocks for your successes, and your successes are building blocks. That you never know where you, what the end of the road will look like, but that all these things are woven in and put in place and um, for your betterment. Well, I'm not afraid to fail, uh, and I have failed in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm not afraid to succeed, and uh, I've succeeded. I'm a risk taker. I think the staff that I've assembled here will tell you that they feel like they're walking on edge every single day. Not on the edge in terms of tension, but that they are taking issues to the forefront that are not being taken to the forefront anywhere else. A good leader can go into a, a group of people and say to them, we're going to reach the summit. Now, how are we going to get there? So that they convey the opportunity to succeed, and then they mobilize other people um, to, uh, and have other people develop the belief that they're going to achieve that victory. It's just guts. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It's something internal, and I describe it as guts. You know, how do you define guts? I don't know. You know, it's just, you know, it's a, we always say it's a gutsy thing you did. You just got to do it every day. Is that what a leader is? Is somebody with guts? Yeah. Guts. Just...